All right, guys, this is Fix It Steve. We got a fridge over here that has been leaking water for some time. We have a pan down here catching the overflow water. I don't know if you can see in the back there, and it right there, there's some ice over there. And this whole setup was entirely covered with ice, so I went ahead and I scraped the ice and I got out of here. And you gotta take this back piece off, you gotta remove the ice maker, you gotta get this back panel. The back panel has got some screws right up there. And this one here has basically got a clip here, clip here, clip here, clip here, and a screw in the middle. And I just had to take off the knob here. And then this piece came out, and that's what it looks like in the back. And then I go over here. Hopefully you guys can see now I have the uh, camera light on. And yeah, it's all filled up with ice over here. So there's basically a drain tube that goes down and it goes into the bottom of the refrigerator. And there's a pan, <coughs> flat pan, flat plastic pan on the bottom of the refrigerator where the water drips out. And it just sits there and eventually it just, you know, it just evaporates. Um, but in this case, the drain tube is completely um, iced up. And then the, you know, the water that's coming down when you run the freezer and the fridge is, um, you know, on the coils. That's what happens when you use any kind of refrigerant and coolant. They're always going to wind up some kind of condensation, right? Cars have that. They have an AC drain tube. Well, refrigerators have the same thing. It's a drain tube for that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull this off of here and then back there and all there and get this panel out. Once you get the panel out, we're going to get a hair dryer. We're going to do this and have this melt and then we're going to find that tube and pour some hot water down the tube and make sure. But on the other side, what you got to do, guys, is this is the hose, the, in, the inlet for the ice maker. As you can see, there's water in there. So it goes all the way down, connects into a um, basically a solenoid over there. And then it connects to the other one that comes up so you can see it comes down below and it goes downstairs well i don't want to have to go downstairs and shut off the whole water valve entirely so i'm going to wind up taking these two screws out here and just holding this up you know against gravity so the water doesn't come out and then we do that and like i said they're going to come up here and take that screw out and you have one two three i know i have at least two screws back there this screw here May have something to do with that or this screw may be for the fan but we'll figure that out but we definitely have this one here and this part is going to get pulled off and they have the one over there and the one over there and then we'll pull this out and we'll get that going and where is my tool there is my tool so what side this is probably like about a seven millimeter socket and i just happened to grab the first one and it just happened to be the proper one so we're going here just going to spin it and eventually that comes out and this one unless there's another screw in there when there always could be another screw somewhere where you can't see it. oh yeah out of on top there guys see the other one up on top yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and get that one there's actually two on top so I'm gonna have to stop recording and go ahead and get those two and get this thing out of here and then we'll go ahead and get the screws and we'll come back to, when we come back to the video guys you'll see this back plate is off and you can more clearly see um, the ice because i'm touching ice here it's like freaking ice skating rink back here this has probably been going on for more than a year based on the level of ice buildup so we'll be right back all right guys so we went ahead and we took the four screws off you can let it down and this is what it magically looks like in the back of your fridge that's basically your uh, condenser, which is basically the same thing you have in your car as a radiator, but has the tubes and has the fins and it goes down. And as you can see, it's pretty, uh, pretty clogged up with ice. And hopefully you guys can see this over here. Now that we have the camera light turned on properly. Uh, yeah, it's a big sheet of ice. I mean, literally if I was a mouse, I could go skating over here. And so this has probably been going on for more than a year. So what we're gonna do is we're leaving it open and then we're gonna get a hair dryer. We're gonna put a hair dryer on this. So as you can see, you see the condensation leaking off of the, um, the fins over here. And that's what's happening, people. So somewhere in this mess of water, frozen water here, 
there's an opening with a drain tube and then that drain tube is where this water is supposed to go down into into the uh, evaporative pan underneath the refrigerator so it's not that difficult a job guys you just have to pay attention to what screws you're unscrewing and make sure you don't force anything when i'm pulling when i was pulling that front piece out before you don't want to pull anything and snap it and break it because this stuff is basically plastic and it's kind of cheap so we're going to go ahead and get the hair dryer and we'll show you guys i mean it's just pretty simple stuff you just put a hair dryer on there right and that's what you do to go ahead and get this to leak but now you know what it looks like back there all right everybody so like i showed you before all that ice here it's literally all underneath this drain tray here all in here be very careful not to the fins not so much those are just uh, cooling dissipation fins but these tubes are what actually attain the coolant the r134a coolant that goes through there and then if you puncture these you'll blow the whole compressor out not the compressor the condenser is what this is called so i'm just going ahead here and didn't have to use a hair dryer or anything like that just having the fridge off for like an hour already things kind of melting over here i'm going to get all this out of here get a towel and wipe it up and i'm going to see what the status of the drain tube down below is i'm hoping that just clears everything up and there's nothing else going down into the fridge into that pan all right folks so as you can see we've made a lot of progress got a lot of this ice out of here uh ice that was on this tray as well below the tray and right here you guys can see this right over there that is where the drain tube would be and you know that because it's the only opening that we have on this metal pan this aluminum pan here and there is a rubber grommet underneath it so that's got to be where the drain tube is attached where the water is supposed to go down and i don't know if you can see that but there's definitely some water in here so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna finish cleaning this up and we're gonna grab some hot water we're gonna put some hot water in there and hopefully that hot water is going to uh, melt the ice that's stuck in that drain tube we can get this show on the road and then once we get that going i'll put more water in here once i get to the point where there's no water sitting in here that i pour in here and you can hear it going to the drain down below into the fridge which i'll also show you guys uh, then we'll go ahead and uh, show you guys how to put everything back together but you know they always say installation is the reverse of removal correct all right guys so what i've been doing is i've been putting some scalding hot water over here in this pan where this drain tube is hoping that that hot water is going to drip down and free up the ice blockage but as to this point um, we haven't had any success with that the water is just basically pulling up in here so we're going to show you guys around the back how to get to everything so you go back here what we're going to have to do or you're going to have to pull off these various hello cat the cat is the assistant here we're gonna pull out these various screws of this, uh, uh, basically, uh, basically cardboard uh, dust cover, and get in there. And then what I'm looking for is right over here. Problem: we pull this apart, we're gonna see a bunch of dust in there anyway on the compressor and all that stuff. And we'll wind up cleaning all that up and everything. If we need to, we can grab a shop vac. But once we get this piece off of here, um, we're just uh, seven millimeters, seven or eight millimeters. On this particular refrigerator, it's seven millimeters. I've seen other ones where they're eight millimeters. I don't think I've ever seen any as big as 10 millimeters. We're just going to pull off these right over, these four right over here, bend this back, and that should be where the drain tube is. And I'll show you guys where the drain pan is on the bottom of the fridge. And eventually, we'll be able to show you that the water comes from up above to down below. We know the drain tube is 100%. Once we have the drain tube 100%, then we know that we're done with the job. <clears throat> so like I said guys, 7 millimeter. So the socket and I got the ratchet here. Quarter inch drive. You don't need blades for tiny little things like this, right? So one, two, three, four screws out. Alright, can cameraman get in there and let's see what it looks like in the drain tube. Got the oh we need the flash, whatever it's called. There we go. Yeah, see? This is the drain tube and this is the drain pan. Now we are, guess what guys, look, we are actually having some success. 
See, this drain pan is where the drain tube, see? So look, the hot water I put up there, this has gotta be the first water that's actually drained out of that fridge in probably a year. So this is a good sign, guys. This is a good sign that we're having water dripping out. That means that we're having some progress from up above in terms of having melted it at ice. So hopefully this continues, this trend continues here, and then we'll go back up top and see how the water, but now that I'm seeing water dripping down, that's gotta mean that at least part, if not the complete, blockage of ice that's been in this drain tube has hopefully been alleviated by the um, hot water we put in. And you can see guys, this is the drain tube here and they have this piece. What this piece does is it kind of just stops. The, it's kind of a, like a membrane where the water seeps through and it seeps through and they put it that way so that way the water doesn't come through at too fast a pace because it comes at too fast a pace without that piece on the bottom. And there have been instances where these drain pans have filled up and they've kind of overflowed and people had leaking fridges from the bottom of the fridge because too much water was coming out too fast. In our case, it was complete opposite. And there was no water draining out at all. But yeah, yay, look at that. It's dripping out. So that means we're definitely making some progress. Hooray, we'll go back up to the top of the fridge. You can turn it off now. So I took off this little membrane. You see how the membrane is kind of, the whole thing is keep the dust out. And look what happened, look guys, see? I took the membrane off and the water just came flowing out of there really fast. And now this drain pan down here is kind of full. It's about halfway full right here. You know, the water just sits there and eventually over time, you know, water evaporates into the atmosphere and stuff like that. And it just, it just goes away. So people are like, oh yeah, well, it goes into drain pan from the drain tube. And then where does it go from there? It just gets reabsorbed back into the, re reabsorbed back into the air in your house, you know, or your apartment or wherever it is you live. Um, so that seemed to have worked because I took this off and it all just came out. And my assistant just went up top and he informed me that there is no more water um, up above. So the hot water trick is what did it for us in this instance, people. I just put scalding hot water for out of the faucet, you know, the, the water steaming really hot, pour it in there and just let it melt the ice and then eventually made its way through and whatever uh, iced up obstruction there was is now gone. So now that I pulled this out, because I could see that the water really wanted to come out. You see this membrane? See, it kind of works like this. It was actually holding the water back. So once I realized the water was dripping, I pulled this off and then the water came out and now we have no water up top. So now, we're just gonna go ahead and put that back on there the way it belongs. And we're gonna close this back up and then let's go back around the top and let's show everybody that the water is gone. So show everybody the water is gone from here. Yep, so it's all gone from there, guys. So now the last next thing we do is we go in the back, we put the cardboard cover back then we go ahead and put everything back together, dry it up 100% completely, even though we know that the drain tube, the ice has been rectified and we should be good to go. You still don't want to leave a lot of extra water in there because once this fridge starts cooling off, once this temperature goes from cold and you have that water, you'll still might wind up a little bit of ice and why have to go through this again? But my guess is that this was probably here for more than a year is probably how bad this got. So we've done a pretty good job and then we'll come back and we'll show you guys how to put it all back together. All right, so now we got all the water out of here and it's draining perfectly. You guys all saw the video part of that. That's where the drain tube and you see the way they have it on an angle so it goes down there. So the hot water trip worked. So now we're going to put this back together. This is a ground wire to make sure everything's working. So we just hook that up to there without that you're not going to have a ground, right? And then this will wind up going through here for our automatic ice maker. So you just got to be cognizant as you're putting that in there. You don't leave this behind there. There we go. Okay. You should be able to get past everything here. There we go. And uh, let's see. And then we got to get this tube right there. We go. Okay, so that's it. And then we're taking our sheet metal screws. Uh, let's see if I can get it lined up. You guys know how this stuff works, right? It never lines up perfectly. The way they made it. And if I try to press down on this, I'll probably want to slice my fingers off or something. But let's see. Okay, line it up right there with the fan mechanism. Alright. That's one machine screw. Now they are different lengths. I didn't notate which one was a different length. I think one of these it was a longer one for over there, because I know we got three for that side. And actually I take that back. It's not a machine. This is not going to be the sheet metal part. These are going to be the regular screws. If we go back to the beginning of the video, we would see that, right? So you just put in this screw. We've all put screws in before, right? What's the big deal? 
I think I have it going in the right place, right? This one, push that backwards. Get my big head out of the way. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, guys. So we'll just put those four screws and then I'll do that. No point in filming that. And I'll come back and we'll hook up the ice maker. All right, everybody. So as you can see, we're kind of getting back to the beginning here. We have the uh, backing on here and we have the ice maker. <coughs> when you hook up the ice maker, you just have to make sure that this plastic tube that where the water comes in from out back is hooked in properly right over here. <coughs> and then I have plugged in the electrical connection and put it back there so it's not in the way. It's just got the three screws. So the ice maker's back in. So as you can see, we're back to where we were when we began. But the major difference is there isn't no water over here, people. And that's what we wanted. <clears throat> so we cleared it all up. We showed you guys the water was dripping down. So we should be good. So now the next thing to do is just put this <coughs> center piece back on. And we'll just uh, push it down. And it's got the four clips. So there we go. One, two, three. And this side. And this side. Yeah, so it's all basically clipped in here. We just have to go ahead and put the screw in the middle. And then we'll take our little knob over here and put our adjusting knob for the temperature on here along with the one screw and then put this cap back on here. Then we'll turn the fridge back on, put our food back in here and ready to go. Um, one other thing I did guys is we do have a refrigerator downstairs so I was able to put everything from this freezer into the freezer downstairs. If you don't have that luxury then your food may either thaw out or you have to do it a little bit quicker than I've been doing. But maybe you'll be doing it quicker because you won't be filming. Cheers.